What's up guys, this is Jay from JS Phelps and this is part two of the GoPro Fusion workflow tutorial I have for you guys. So today it's gonna be real quick. I'm just gonna teach you the export settings uh, with the GoPro Fusion when using Adobe Media Encoder. Now, like I said previously, it's very hard to encode more than 4K H.264s. So Adobe Media Encoder doesn't do that natively. So what I had to do was find an alternative. Well, luckily I found this add-on or a script called aescripts.com and it has this thing called After Codex. Now, I ended up buying the one for Adobe Media Encoder because even though I'm working with After Effects and Premiere, I always render with Media Encoder anyway. So, why would you pay for this? Well, A, it renders faster and B, it lets you export in ProRes on Windows, and it also lets you export H.264 up to 8K. It's not limited to 4K like the native Adobe Media Encoder. Also, in the future, I'm gonna be doing a video comparison between the native encoder and then this codec to see which one is faster and if this is faster, by how much. So let's go ahead and go to the actual tutorial. So if you want to encode higher than 4K without having to use software such as Hybrid or Handbrake or FFmpeg, which uses command prompt, and you render a lot of 4K and up footage H.264, I highly suggest to go ahead and look at this uh, thing here. And I am not getting paid by this, guys. I just like to tell you guys the stuff that are actually really good that are really useful. So with that being said, let's go ahead and grab our 360 uh, video, which is, is in pictures. It should be this one. Now I made it only two seconds because I didn't want to render it for a long time because it takes forever. So if you install the plugin for Adobe Media Encoder like I did, go ahead and open this. If you have it installed and you got it installed properly, if you go to After Codecs in the format, you're gonna see that plugin that you just bought. And then if you scroll down to video, you're gonna choose MP4 or MOV, doesn't matter. Uh, MOV gives me sometimes a cast of some sort, a color cast, so I go with MP4. And you go ahead, right here, you can match your source, which in this case, this is gonna match the 5.2K file that we have in GoPro Fusion. And then we're gonna go in the after codec settings and we're going to choose H.264 you can go with quality bitrate or file size I usually go with bitrate now for 5.2k the rule of thumb is if it's 4k you want to go 45 megabits so just go a little bit over that I guess 50 or 60 and then the speed you can go in the middle uh, faster medium slow Obviously, the slower it is, the better it encodes, but if you're just looking for like quick, quick, quick uh, renders, go ahead and adjust that accordingly. So we'll go to uh, four, because that's kind of like the middle, right? And after that, I just, you can leave these blank, or just as is, if you want. I usually leave it on high, because it's a higher resolution, and audio is fine. And honestly, folks, <laughs> that is it. That is how you render 5.2K or more in Adobe Media Encoder using this plugin called After Codex. And if you want, you can go use Maximum Render, press OK, and then just go. I hope you guys learned something new today. I'm sorry, I'm kind of sick a little bit. I'll see you guys later.